Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here. I guess it's the uh, 24th. 24th of June. Amazing. Getting to the half year point. Uh, let's see what we got here today at the European Open. First thing we want to do is look at this dollar yen. Um, big day yesterday. Uh, bearish engulfing. Uh, we would have liked to cl uh, close lower to the lows there at 07. Traded all the way back up to 63. Um, this kind of has fuck job written all over it now, which is annoying. Um, but irregardless, uh, the big money play is 106 the figure. So core shorts heading into it. Looks like it's going to get fucked, but um, that's neither here nor there. Um, 106 is important. 106 is big. There'll be money to made. There'll be money to be made at 106. So get ready for it. Euro went up to 113.50 yesterday, which was sort of interesting because that was the high on the 16th of June. Um, so that's kind of an interesting sort of point. The the, the more important point, obviously, is um, 114 and a quarter up here, but uh, looks pretty constructive. I mean, it was looking like dog shit down here at 111.70, but um, the bids and the bulls turned it. Two quick days, bang, 200 points, uh, 180 points, and here we are, uh, 113.15. So, not really sure, you know where to get long this thing today. I don't think we're going to see move down to 112.71. Yesterday, 80 was kind of the point of no return, so maybe buying between uh, 05 and 85 is interesting. Cable did a little bit of uh, a runner yesterday as well. Same kind of chart as Euro. Held uh, in a dogfight against the Bears, held 123.50. Uh, and then we had it up to uh, 125.50, 125.42. Same 190 points as Euro, so it's the same chart. Now we're in the middle. Not a lot to do there in cable. Dollar Swiss is just slowly heading for 90 cents. Uh, boring, but... If you're super patient, that's been a profitable one. Dollar yen, we talked about waiting uh, for 106. Feels like that's like the title of a movie, waiting for 106. Uh, anyway, let's make it a let's make it a movie. Smash that fucker through 106. Um, Euro yen's uh, indecisive day yesterday. So we printed that big high, 121.08. We were all the way down at 119.87 at some point. Nothing to do here. We do know um, there will be stops. A bunch of the banks went long uh, Euro Yen recently, and there will be stops below 119.30. So just keep that in mind in your back pocket going forward. Sterling Yen, we're going to get a little mini head and shoulders like that uh, Ernie and Bert, whichever one of the big head is. I guess that was Bert. Maybe we get like a Bert pattern. Uh, who knows? Uh, we think all cross yen is going to turn. We're gearing up for this. 72.50 is of interest. Even though it's 140 points away. 78.35. Uh, is of interest. That's a bit closer. But also 78 to figure. We do like CAD yen uh, lower. Yesterday we talked about getting short euro sterling. It's just a tactical trade. Uh, worked out. This looks 
Looks like it wants to turn though. Look at that bar. Take a good look at that daily bar. That's a turn bar, people. For those of you who have read the uh, Neeson Candlestick book, you will know that's a turn bar. Gravestone Doji or whatever the fuck they call them. It doesn't really matter what the name of it is. After years and years and years of watching, it doesn't matter whether you do candlesticks or, or I don't know, any form of charting. Um, you learn to see the patterns just after years of watching the same stuff. Um, so this thing looks like it wants to turn. Let's go to the four hours and kind of see, drill down a bit where these bingo numbers are. 9019 maybe. And you have this little monkey set up here. Any elementary school student will have you done this trend line. And we like elementary school trend lines because the whole point of technical analysis is trying to figure out group psychology or where the herd is or what the herd's going to do. So all these complicated trend lines, nobody draws them, so nobody's watching them. So they're not really useful. What you want is the second grade drawn with a crayon trend line, uh, in our opinion. And that's one of them right there. Um, RBNZ, uh, obviously, not super positive last night. Can't believe Kiwi Yen made it a, a that low. Ridiculous. Uh, Aussie did not follow, but as you can see, pretty negative um, from the RBNZ. And that was a pretty big move. That should continue, right? 64.35 yesterday's low uh, then it gets real interesting 63.83 CAD not doing anything but because we're looking at CAD yen downside we're kind of biased on the top side here our Euro CAD it's just like I don't know it's like a hobo lurking in the bushes asleep See if this guy gets up and, and walks up the stairs or falls down the stairs. We're obviously hoping for a fall down the stairs. Um, too much moonshine. Keep an eye on 150.50. Gold. Go fuck yourself. Not long. Tried to be long a thousand times. And crude. Crude, we got paid yesterday. That's unusual. Uh, we talked about a close below 41. This is a sell-on rally. Um, been down to 39.86. If you missed it yesterday, just try and sell above 40.40. There'll be some stops up here, and this is what crude does. It just fucks everybody. Uh, so between 40.40 and 40.60, try and sell some. <laughs> crude looks like it's turned. Anyway, you can see the theme we're, we're, we're looking at here. Dollar yen lower, cross yen lower, crude lower. Um, we're looking for a turn in the old uh, risk metrics here. I feel like an asshole saying that because um, it's been so so bid yesterday at the gym. Um, this Turkish dude came up to me and he said, he said, "Hey, how's it going? I told you, man. I told you. I told you. You know." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And then I kind of pretended to be like, "Yeah, you told me." And he's like, "Yeah, S and P is much higher." You were bearish. And I was like, "Yep, yeah. you're a you're a very smart man." Um, and so when the private bankers of the world are like sort of doing the nanny nanny ha ha's at the gym, um, it also is usually an indication that, along with David Portnoy, we may be approaching some sort of turn. Anyway, we'll see. The point is, we're going to be patient anyway, so there's no way we're getting involved unless this does turn. So if it doesn't turn, we're just watching. If it does turn, uh, we're ready. CAD yen, dollar yen. 
Aussie yens far, but keeping an eye on it. Um, these are on the frontal lobe. Good luck, people. Have a good trading day. Talk to you tomorrow.